Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll test to see that all data from the detail sheet flows into the summary sheet. Let's take a quick look at the detail sheet. The table is named TBL E1 Detail. This data flows into the summary worksheet. The table name is TBL E1 Summary. The data flows into the table via the calculated amount column, which uses the SUMIFS function. We need to ensure that all of the data in the detail flowed into the summary. Let's do this on the error check sheet. First, let's write a formula that pulls in the total per the summary table. Equals sum TBL E1 summary amount. Good. We'll write a similar formula to obtain the total per detail. Equals sum TBL E1 detail amount. Good. Now, when these two values are equal, the diff is equal to zero. So the test passes if the diff is equal to zero. The overview will tell us if all tests pass equals and column B good. All right, let's make this pretty by using conditional formatting. If the cell value is equal to true, let's do a green font and a green cell border. If the cell value is equal to false, let's do a red cell fill with a white bold font. All right, let's test it out. Let's force the diff to one and, okay, looking good. Exercise two. In this exercise, we'll test to ensure that debits equal credits. The trial balance is stored on the E2 TB sheet. The table name is TBL E2 TB. We need to test that debits equal credits. On the exercise 2 worksheet, we'll compute the total of the debits column. Equal sum, the TBL E2 TB debit column. The credit total is sum the TBL E2TB credit column. If these two values are equal, the diff will be equal to zero. So the test passes if the diff is equal to zero. The overview is next. All tests pass equals and column B. Splash on some conditional formatting. If the cell value is equal to true green font and green cell border. If the cell value is equal to false red fill and white bold font. All right, time to test it out. Force the diff to 1, and we look good. Undo that change, and the exercise is complete. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll set up an error check to tie out our financials. Our balance sheet is located on the E3 B sheet worksheet. Our PL is located on the E3 PL worksheet. Our cash flow is located on the E3 cash flow worksheet. We need to ensure these are internally consistent. We'll set up our tests on the Exercise 3 worksheet. Is the balance sheet in balance? Let's go VLOOKUP, the label here, in the balance sheet, columns B through C, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. Close the function and hit enter. We can fill this formula down to pull back the total liabilities and equity. The test passes if the diff is equal to zero. Okay, does the net income per the P&L tie to the net income per the balance sheet? Equals VLOOKUP, the report label, in the P&L, columns B through C, return the value from the second column, 
and zero for exact match. We grab the net income for the balance sheet in a similar way. VLOOKUP, the label in the balance sheet, columns B through C, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. The test passes if the diff is equal to zero. Does the cash per the balance sheet tie to the cash flow statement? We VLOOKUP the report label in the balance sheet, return the value from the second column, zero for exact match, and we got it. We VLOOKUP the report label in the cash flow, columns B through C, return the value from the second column, zero for exact match, and we got it. The test passes if this is equal to zero. The overview is easy, equals AND, column B. Make it pretty with some conditional formatting. If the sell value is equal to true, then green font and green cell border. If the sell value is equal to false, then red fill and a white bold font. And OK, everything looks good. This video is a production of Click Consulting.